Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is still uh, new, so if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Um, I'm less than 100 people away from 1,000 subscribers, and so if you do decide to subscribe, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Everybody who's already subscribed and my weekly viewers, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I will thank you with every single video because um, without you, this channel wouldn't be what it is. Okay, so um, for those of you who are new and don't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story on, on uh, superhero twin flames. It's called Perception, the Two Yet One, book one. Um, I just finished reading book one aloud live on Facebook, and I've uploaded all those videos here for you to enjoy. If you've already read book one or watched all those videos, fear not. For book two is already written and published. Um, these books are available on, on Kindle Direct Publishing. Uh, if you have um, Amazon Prime, your shipping is free. They are only $15.99 each. Book one is available on ebook. Book two, however, I haven't been able to get that onto ebook, but I'm working on it. Okay, so. Um, just a little explanation of what I'm doing here. Some of you already know, those of you who have been with me here um, know what I'm doing this month, but for those of you who don't know, I will go ahead and explain. Um, this month, I am receiving my messages from different goddesses. Uh, I've done it at the um, suggestion of Isis, the energy of goddess Isis. She suggested that I take the entire month of Febu February and dedicate it to love, which is why I have this beautiful heart here. Um, as February 14th is the day that we um, celebrate love here in the United States. Uh, the first week, um, I got my messages through Isis. They were very beautiful. If you um, want to see your Isis reading, I have a playlist for every single sun sign. Um, and I also have a playlist for the Mother Speaks special videos. Last week, um, a miracle happened through um, for Spirit through Mary for me. So if you want to check that out, that's in the video playlist called the Mother Speaks um, special videos. Uh, and then, so the week after we did uh, Isis, we asked uh, for our messages from Venus, uh, Venus Aphrodite, the planet Venus. Those were also very powerful. And um, then last week, we got our messages from the Marys, Mary Magdalene and Mary the Mother. And those, oh wow, boy, did I feel those. Some of them got really, really long. So I'm going to try to, to keep these short, okay? Um, but so this week, last week of February, we are receiving our messages from Mother Earth. Okay, so we have Mawu here. She is Mother Earth. She says, you are called upon to help with environmentalism. So she's, she is Mother Earth for us. She's representing, she's a Mother Earth goddess. Okay, but you've also drawn this card whenever you see this. And then, um, there we go. And then over here, uh, from the Keepers of the Light deck, this is from the Goddess Oracle deck, from the Keepers of the Light deck, we have the Goddess Gaia. She is the Greek name for the planet, the Goddess, the um, Mother Earth, her consciousness, her soul. Uh, she says, Earth Connection, be mindful of the planet, come back to Earth, stay grounded. Okay, so I've got uh, them here. Uh, this was kind of a miracle in itself. I wanted one of those little tiny globes, and um, I couldn't find one. And uh, this weekend I celebrated my sister's birthday with her, so I was going to be over there. So I just kind of gave up on looking for one because I didn't have time anymore. And she then, you know, on Saturday she was like, you want to go shopping? I'm like, okay. So we went shopping, and there 
it was not only did I have a large selection of little teeny globes so I could pick the one that I wanted, I had a couple of different kinds to choose from. So I feel like I've, I'm, getting, I'm getting encouraged um, by what I'm doing here and I'm just, Spirit is encouraging me, Spirit is giving me the tools that I want, not just need. Okay, so I'm just really excited about this beautiful globe that sits on a marble base that I've already charged in the sun and everything. Okay, so this uh, week we are using the Tarot of Sexual Magic because our sex, our sexuality um, comes from our planet. It, we are children of the planet and... Um, Sex is what keeps us alive, that keeps us going, keeps um, all the, all, or almost all the organisms out there going. And plus, you know, I just really love how this deck has like a, a different, a bunch of different languages for everybody. It's just very, very much for the world. Okay, and then, um, then what we have to use for our, um, our oracle is the tea leaf fortune cards because they deal with so much about human life just it's all over the place there's there's months there's times of life there's advice there's animals and so that's what i tried to do here decorate everything i've got these happy little you know grass and butterflies and the sun and this is actually one of my dog's toys but <laughs> i just put crystals and shells and um, you know, I've got my wolf out today. I've got my um, smooth crystal, that, you know, for the globe over here by Gaia. I've got my beautiful sodalite that looks like a tiny earth right over here next to Mawu. Okay, so I've got my earth, my air, my fire, and my water. And let's get this going. Okay, so as a reader... I read um, Minor Arcana as messages about your free will, and I read Major Arcana as messages uh, about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you made for your life so that you would encounter and hopefully learn certain life lessons um, that when learned, pardon me, um, when learned, they raise the vibration of your soul, okay? So um, when your soul rises in vibration, um, then the next time you are born, you are given a higher life path number. And you just kind of, you know, the more you work on it, the higher your life path number gets. And um, the next thing you know, you're at a high enough life path number where it's actually possible for you to reach enlightenment. Okay? So, um, just one moment, please. Okie dokie, sorry about that. All right, so what we have here at the heart of everything, we have the Three of Wands. Now, wands are um, fire energy, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, um, passionate. Um, this might uh, have something to do with your career because Right on top of it, we've got a pentacle. So wands are what you do as a, you know, like a career. And, you know, pentacles is your money. So when I see those two together, I, I kind of, I tend to think that this, this is um, connected. So just one moment. Sorry about that. I, I um, just had to fix up my fingers just a little bit. They were a little rough looking. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, what we had here is the Three of Wands. Um, now, I just, I feel like you might be reassessing something. This is um, teamwork, okay? Um, waiting for your sh uh, ships to come in. But it's also a time to decide what is best or what is holding someone back. And, and that's what I'm feeling because here you've got this... Uh, this two of pentacles. What do they call it in this deck? Yeah, pentacles. Right there. The two of pentacles. Um, earth energy, which is you, um, along with Capricorn and Taurus. 
Virgo. Now, this is um, also a, a decision to be made. Okay, so it's kind of like um, there's something that has to do with some sort of collaboration that you're working on. There's um, a decision that's got to be made here. Um, and what's at the root of everything is uh, somebody is being rather headstrong, uh, very uh, opinionated and full of de demands. They're being uh, childish, okay? This is the page of, what do they call it? Want, oh, this is the knave of wands. The knave is the page of wands, okay? But he's in reverse here. Um, oh, I love that chick's hair. Okay, so... Yeah, somebody is acting, I don't know, you know, what I just said, opinionated, headstrong, full of demands, basically childish, okay? So um, the energy that's moving out of your life for the situation at this time, actually, we've got the nine of wands. So there's a lot of um, career energy, a lot of passion here, okay? This is um, basically... Uh, There's a few meanings for this, but what I'm getting for this is the, the need to remain calm, a certain amount of patience because you're in between battles at this time. So, because this is the wounded warrior energy where you are, um, you fought nine battles and you got one more to go and you can muster up the strength to uh, fight that last battle. Um, but I, that time is over. You, you were being patient with this, okay? You were being calm. Um, but there's some sort of um, ostracism going on and you're done now, okay? Now, see, I just love the size of these. These cards are a lot smaller than um, the, the Scapini, the medieval Scapini that I used last week, which are so absolutely beautiful. Um, can you see? I can't really see my little... Um, this is my mom's timer. But I just wanted to bring it in here because it's so cute. It's a little ladybug. There, now you can see it. I just wanted to put all kinds of stuff that the earth, you know, the earth gives us everything. So, of course, it's abundance. So, Okay, so for me as a reader, these next two cards are um, future cards. One will happen before the other, but I have to start reading them before I can feel out which one will go first okay so this is the two of swords in reverse so um, this is saying that these differences are going to be resolved very soon okay harmony will be restored um, there's been there might be some kind of um, duplicity maybe some lies or some disloyalty going on here though but um, there's a need to learn to give and to receive Okay, so um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work itself out with, and now swords energy is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy, and I just feel like this is, um, there's something that you know in, intuitively how to get this uh, harmony, which choice to make, okay, because you've got, you've got two twos now. Okay, do you have any more twos? Nope. Okay, so I would recommend that you go ahead and Google angel number 22. Okay, now twos are all about duplicity. They're all about that kind of stuff. Um, this can be, you know, waffling, going back and forth, because there's a decision that needs to ma be made. This is also the, the card of crossroads and stuff, but there's the... Uh, the the swords are all about the mind and logic, and I just feel like there's some um, logic that needs to be used here that will allow this decision to be made, okay? And so then what we have here um, for your other future card is the Six of Cups. It's in reverse, though, okay? This is, um, this is a, a card of um, nostalgia. Um... In reverse, this is when you're pretty much leaving in the past. Uh, 
but this is a, a renewal as well okay so I feel I feel like there's um, this one will happen first the decision will be made once some clarity is um, gotten through logic okay because right now we're dealing with a lot of passion and um, earth um, so once we get to the swords here and we put some logic in there then the emotion can come in okay so um, as far as I can tell you've got all of your elements I like to see it when everybody has at least one card from this each suit because then they're working with everything that's available to them earth air fire water um, yeah earth air fire and water okay now here we have the um, your hope card Okay, and this is right side up. This is the Queen of Wands. Um, you are wanting to be, you want to be successful. You want to be, a, see now the Queen of Wands is confident. She's beautiful. She, she is attractive. She's magnetic. She is a social butterfly. She is um everybody sees her everybody knows how beautiful she is she's you know this is you wanting to be confident wanting to to feel as good as you look um with this uh success as well okay and you know this does have something to do with love because um, the Six of Cups has to do with childhood memories. You might know this person from your childhood. Um, this has to do with children too. So you might have um, a child with someone involved here. But a lot of people are working um, at home and opening businesses with their partners and husbands and wives and stuff. So you know what part of that resonates with you. Now, this is your current state of being um, or your environment, but now this is in reverse, though. Now, the Six of Swords, Six of Swords, it can do a couple of things. Okay, so right now, yeah, right now your logic is off. Okay, Six of Swords. This has to do with impaired judgment sometimes. And like I said over here, with the uh, once you get some logic into this situation, you will be able to make the right decision. So this is confirming for me um, that you your logic is off. When this is right side up, this is when you are looking um, for the answers in kind of a scientific way. You ask a question, then you get the answer that gives you more questions and then you keep going. And, um, that's how you go like on a mental journey or a mental quest. This is also moving on. You're not moving on. You weren't going on those, uh, that quest for answers. Okay. So I'm thinking that's what you need to do. You, because if you stay in this energy, there's going to be the potential to repeat your past mistakes. Okay? So what you got to do is you got to put your logic back into it. Start asking the right questions. Okay. Now, here is your fear card. And interestingly enough, it's the king of wands. Both are right side up. One is your hope. One is your fear. What? This is a, basically a divine couple. So this has nothing to do with gender. Like men can be more feminine and women can be more masculine. So this king of wands is... Um, He's a go-getter. He goes after what he wants. He's very uh, clever. He's self-made. Uh, he's determined. He's generally a married person. He's honest and friendly. He's um, since he's right side up. He 
is uh, a sacred masculine. I mean, and look at how he's protecting her. You know, maybe you are afraid of having to be protected or cared for, maybe? I'm not sure. This is almost the same energy, it's just that one is feminine and one is masculine. So why would one be a hope and the other would be a fear? Except maybe these are people. This is an interesting um, situation here. If uh, this makes sense to you, if this is resonating with you, um, if you say, oh, yeah, that's there because of this, you know, then that'll help me out. Um, leave me a message. Tell me how this is resonating with you. Because he's, he is, um, they're both authoritative. Okay? It's, the, it's basically the same energy, except one's feminine and one's masculine. So perhaps you're afraid that you're being too masculine. <sighs> okay, For, I think I get it now. For some of you, this is a third party situation. This is the, um, the, this is the outcome. The, now it's not set in stone. Um, Free will can change everything, but this is the tower. This, this is a big, shocking change, a huge change. Okay, so, um, all right. It looks like, I can see this now. This three of wands is, is a third party situation. I usually get the third party situation from the three of swords or from the three of cups. Um, and I usually feel the, uh, the collaboration thing here with the, the wands. But I'm thinking that perhaps what's been going on is you've been waffling between two people. One is more feminine, one is more masculine. Or maybe you're afraid that this second, you're the masculine in this, and you're afraid this second masculine is going to come along and take your feminine that you were hoping for. Hmm. Yep. All right, so I was going to get some clarifiers out, but I think I've got it now. Now, here is the underlying um, energy to this whole thing. You, you just want your Ten of Pentacles. You just want to be with the right person. You want to be financially secure. You want to have peace and harmony and happiness in your home. Possibly a lot of money. <laughs> All right. Let's see, um, let's see what else that we've got here for you from the tea leaf fortune cards. Now I've got to, um, I've got to do these in two stacks because there's so many of them. Oh, and they go flying. planet. She told me once to call her Ama. A-M-M-A. What else would you like to say through the energy of the tea leaf deck? For Virgo. Apparently she's got a lot to say. Let me get these other two cards. Okay. Now, before I read these tea leaves, um, I just want to do the to tell you how much control do you have over this situation. That's determined. Uh, I can determine that by the number of major arcana to minor, and you have one. You have the tower. Okay, so all of this is in your control. This decision to be made is up to you, and um, if you're afraid of this more masculine one. 
uh, then I think you know what your choice is. Okay. And this tower moment, while it may look scary and very painful, it's meant to happen. It's meant to teach you something. If you end up finding uh, someone you love with someone else, I'm, I'm so sorry. That's a really horrible pain to feel. But if you're going to end up having to feel it, um, make sure that you learn from it so that you don't have to encounter this lesson again in order to get that, um, that soul energy up, okay? So you are almost in complete control here. Learn everything that you can from this tower moment, whatever it is, okay? Now here we have the first one here is Axe. Forces working against you. Yeah. Okay, so... You could be, you know, like, look at this three, three person, third party situation. You could be possibly this man right here who comes in and, and sees, you know what I mean? It, you don't have to be a man, but all right. Candle, you will be shown the way. Oh, yes. Um, I'm going to put this over here with this two of swords because it's your logic that's going to come in and show you. This is also a temporary situation. Temporary situation. I'm going to put on this two over here. Dissatisfaction with life. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, broken wishbone. A wish will not be granted. Something's going to happen in September. Okay. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Okay. I just kind of feel like this chain of events is going to either, um, end in September or climax in September bridge successfully overcoming a problem. Put that on that ax lightning control your anger or you will be sorry. Okay, so okay, so X and then look here. He's holding an axe. Okay. So I mean an axe is kind of a blade, kind of like a sword, but it is um it is very brutal. Okay. So there might be, I, I just want to point out that you've got two uh, axes here and then you've got this control your anger or you will be sorry, this lightning bolt um, that kind of looks like if he goes after this guy and he kills him, he's going to be sorry because he's going to be in jail. He won't be with his feminine anyway. Okay, so control your anger. Control your anger. Just um, don't be angry when you do anything. When you get angry, don't act from it. Just try to calm down. And when you're calm and you're more reasonable, then try to deal with it. Use anger as um, only as a way to sh tell you that something's wrong, okay? Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Oh, I'm very sorry. I'm feeling really sad. Moon changes in your life. V, victory in some endeavor. Okay, see, you're going to be victorious. I'm going to put that over here near September. And then we've got seahorse, family matters, right? Right? The, the, ten, of, the ten of discs over here. Fair man. Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair, or fair skin, okay? That's what I'm seeing, or fair skin. Ink pot, problems to be resolved. Ink pot, even though this is the problem, it got dumped out, I just feel like there's some, it's the communication. There's going to be some communication going on that's going to help um, resolve this issue. An opportunity or a windfall. Yeah. That can also be the, the ten of discs. 
Okay, so you know what? It's like you've got almost, uh, you've got this back and forth of happy and sad. It's success and challenge. Success and wishes not to be granted. Happy, you know, these victories and opportunities, but you're depressed, you know? Um, but you're going to be shown the way. Okay, it's going to work itself out. Just pay attention. Um, I just feel like with this lightning bolt, I'm, I'm seeing this one card from the angel um, answer deck that says, um, look for a sign. And there's this big lightning bolt that comes down. And it's, I just feel like it's going to hit you like lightning. Okay. All right. So that's what I've got for you at this time, Virgo. Thanks for watching. See you next time.